welcome to vlogmas day two what day do we think it'll be by time i start forgetting the vlogmas days almost up ow <coughs> no this is this is perfect <coughs> This is perfect. I was gonna come snuggle with you. Uh, wow, this is really, truly a throat, <coughs> my esophagus, <coughs> my larynx. <coughs> okay, I think I'm slightly recovered. Good morning, it is Saturday and we have very little on the agenda today and I am so excited. I unpacked from the trip last night when we got home. I got the vlog up this morning. It's always so nice coming home from a trip and sleeping in your own bed. There's truly nothing like it. We just snuggled with the pups. We finished two finales of shows last night. We were watching Lessons in Chemistry with Brie Larson and then also Gen V, which is on Amazon Prime and it's a spinoff of The Boys. If you liked The Boys, it is incredibly gory. Penis is exploding in blood. So anyways, that might not be everyone's cup of tea. Really enjoyed the show minus the explosions. So today I am gonna do some meal prep. So I've been on a meal plan during the week. It's just Monday to Friday and I've been doing Hello? I've been doing my best to like not lose all of my progress of healthy eating on the weekend just because I don't have my meal prep. So we're gonna do some healthy cooking today. I do have a bagel en route right now, which is healthy, healthy cooking minus the bagel. I need a carb to get me started. Feed me carbs. I also have a new walking treadmill pad that I have been loving. I've been saving the finale of the great bit of the the, whoa, the Great British Baking Show. I've been saving the finale to watch today while I do my little walkie walk. It is so incredibly doable for me to just like not sit on my butt while I watch a TV show. And like, I don't I don't mean all the TV shows. Like I wanna sit on my butt for majority of the TV shows that I watch. But if I just like pick a show and walk for an hour at a three and it's zero incline, it's literally just like such an even pace that I don't even think about the fact that I'm doing it. So it's been, it's been really, really good. I've been trying to do like two to three miles daily because when I walk the pups, they're a little less active on a walk than I would like it to be. It's more like an outing where we go sniff, we go check the pee mail, if you will, and it's not necessarily, I would say, a cardio moment for me. So this has been a good balance of trying to get some steps in. Yes? Did you tell everybody about my discovery? What was your discovery? A three on the treadmill is three miles Oh my God, Jeremy. You just thought that the speed on the treadmill was just like, oh. oh. It's like a guitar amp. one to 10, baby. One to 10, like, one like 10 is, is loud, 10 is fast, and yes. one is slow. That it's so crazy. It's because they don't read instruction manuals. It's so me of you. Never. Great yawn, Bubby. Yeah, so if you didn't know, the speed is correlated to the miles yeah. per hour. This is this new artist called Tate, right? <laughs> I think we talked about this on the podcast, but Jeremy well, the other day came to me with the latest and greatest news that he found this new underground artist who is just starting to pop off, but her music is just so just good. <laughs> just starting to get the recognition she deserves. Her name is Tate McRae. And Jeremy is so excited for you to check out this new underground artist. And I was like, Jeremy, Tate McRae has literally more monthly Spotify listeners than Beyonce does. Take that in for a second. Oh, I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. And it's just crazy how now that you've started spreading the good word of Tate McRae, she's really just taken off. And that is on Jeremy telling everyone and spreading the good word. Of Tate McRae. <laughs> Anyways, big Tate McRae fan. We missed the ticket purchase, which I'm so sad about. But maybe we'll buy it off of the uh, black market? Secondary market? Whatever. I don't know. So that's the plan for today. So excited for the bagel to arrive. I got a cinnamon raisin bagel. And then I'm going to do my little walkie walk. Then I think we'll just start cooking. It's treadmill time. We did just accidentally fall into a deep slumber of sit around Saturday, we've coined the term, where the goal is to sit around as much as possible. <laughs> So as described, we did successfully succeed in enjoying some sit around Saturday, but now it is time to walk. These new shoes I got, they're so cute. They're so lightweight. I watched so many different reviews on walking pad girlies on TikTok, recommending different shoe styles because just say I end up doing three miles a day, five days a week. That's like, that's 15 miles. That's still, that's a lot of fucking walking. So it's like, if you don't have proper shoes, you can really take a toll on your joints, especially if you're over 30, like me, a senior. <laughs> Anyways, I use these literally just on the treadmill so the soles are super clean. So as I set them down on the couch here, don't freak out. Everyone 
knows as an Asian household, a shoes off Asian household, that I would never mix any of that. Anyways, let me show you the walkie pad that I have. And I chose this one because it folds up in half and then I stuff it behind a shelf when I'm not using it. So then it's like this and it's like this and then you plug it in. I will say though, I do regret not ordering one that has a little desk on it. I just ordered a little rolly high desk that can go over it, but I wanted something that was gonna fold up really, really small. It's still pretty heavy, I think it's like 45 pounds. So when I do drag it over to the corner of the living room to shove it behind a shelf, it's like a workout in itself. But overall, 10 out of 10. I would give it a two out of 10 for this what do you mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys where it goes afterwards and you can be the judge. Because and make, I and make sure, make sure you put that broken face of ours with the weird grass shit. Weird grass shit. It's decorative pompous grass. You uncultured swine! <laughs> Okay, it's great British baking show time. These are the consequences of not having the little desk add-on. Also, here's the sound level. I'm gonna put you a little bit closer so you can see. I feel like that was everyone's main concern is like how loud the treadmill is. What? Yeah, how loud the treadmill is. But anyway, so I've got the little app and the clicker, my little water, the treadmill, and here's some audio. And here's a moose who is incredibly concerned as to when he's getting his walk. The way that I can say the word walk without my dogs going nuts is just such a representation of their laziness and disinterest for any kind of cardio. Completed and not so bad. Not so bad, right Bummer? Uh, it is not time for advent Mobile, calendar yet. And there's the, Mobile, here's the, the pomp, the uh, pompous grass, the pompous grass. But yeah, it's really not that bad. Honestly, I wish I had a closet to stuff it in, but it has like little rolly wheels at the bottom and then you just scooch it in there. And that's it. And Moose is ready for the advent calendar. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not time yet. It's not time yet, but those were very adorable, excited tippy taps. Those were very adorable movies. <laughs> Moose just stays mad during Vlogmas. Anytime that it's not advent no. calendar time, he's pissed. No. I'll pop up the little screenshot that it gives you after you finish your little workout. One episode of Great British Baking Show, no spoilers, was incredibly happy with the winner. Was my favorite. 7,452 steps. Not mad. Not Mad at all, 3.1 miles. I am going to, I think, go shower, maybe do a face mask. I feel like I wore so much makeup the last couple days over the span of the not trip that like I'm desperate for like a face mask or like a deep clean or something. I feel like today has just been like a good reset day. Like a solid slumber, I'm unpacked. I did my little walkie walk, gonna cook some food for the weekend and maybe we'll go do a little skincare. Honestly, like my hair desperately needs to be washed but I've just got a Pilates class tomorrow. So I'm gonna, I think let her just keep marinating in this product the next couple days. Oh, airlift bubbies? Hello? Ow. <laughs> airlift bubbies, can I help you? Can I help you? Bubbies, that is so nice. If you're wondering, Diggy is not responsible enough to be near the treadmill. He tries to get on it with me in not a productive way. Some dogs I feel like are teachable to get their steps in on the treadmill. Some of the more like working breeds. This is a couch breed. This is a couch breed. <laughs> Purpose couch. Purpose couch. Oh, um, I think for today's Capybara giveaway, I really want to start a new show. It can even be like an old show that I just like, one of the shows that I haven't watched before is Gilmore Girls. Jeremy just broke his neck Sorry, whipping what? around. I've never seen Gilmore Girls. You're too late. You're not going to take our TV ransom. Also haven't watched, what's the show with the Irish gangsters? Peaky Blinders. I also haven't seen, what's the one that that the guy from The Bear is in that you watched all of? Shameless? Shameless. I haven't watched Shameless. Well, once again, that you are 10 seasons. I long. know. Oh, there's, fuck, there's 10 seasons. That's gonna be too many too seasons for on a show. Yeah, I think there's a new season of RuPaul in the UK, so maybe I'll just watch that. Maybe I'll just go with that. Anyways, for the Capybara giveaway today, give me your favorite show and your Instagram handle so I can contact you. Also, I left this in the description of the vlog yesterday, but I decided that every seven days at the end of the week, I'll do just like a summary roundup of all giveaway winners the last seven days, and I'll just do that three and a half times. Hopefully that makes 
sense. Anyways, I am gonna go shower and then maybe make myself a little snack and then get cooking for dinner. My skin has actually been incredibly stable. Obviously, as soon as I say that, I'm it's I'm sure that I just the 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 world is gonna Anyways, my skin's been okay recently. And so this is the cleanser that I've been using. And honestly, I feel like as soon as I simplified my skincare routine down to just a few products, my skin has been just like so stable. So the other two things that I've been using, this one I use twice a day. It's the, I'm gonna mess up the name. It's the Snail Mucin Power Essence that went super, super viral. I've gone through two of these already, incredible. I know that there's been like some weird stuff about like fake ones going around this one i like did all the confirmation or whatever to like make sure it's a real one but i was like is that why my skin's been so good because i've been putting just like nothing on my face like just like an empty product of like not actually anything this is the real one in fact and so i'm so glad to hear that because it's been doing great with my skin and then when i'm feeling super dry like right now i feel like we were outdoors at night so much and my skin is really dry this is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream i have just like the giant one because that's how much I love it and how great it's been for my skin when I was really struggling with some psoriasis areas on my skin and like just when I have super dry skin this is my freaking go-to it's so good for sensitive skin in my experience and then for makeup remover which I also think has been part of why my skin has been really solid I've been using a cleansing oil and so it's this one the Mara cleansing oil and Mia brought these back from Japan for me but it's the by Festa I think my seller cleansing sheet and so I take off my eye makeup because of the lash extensions with this and then also like do my neck makeup and then use the cleansing oil so it's like a one and a half cleanse I don't know if it's necessary oh wait no I guess it's a double cleanse that's like a freaking two and a half cleanse if we start with this and do the Mara cleansing oil and then do a gel cleanser that's like a two and a half cleanse okay anyways I am gonna do this Caudalier instant detox mask it's the pink one I've done some before and it looks a little crazy but I always feel like it's like a good like just like poor sucker outie of all the bad things you don't want in your skin I also don't have to wear makeup tomorrow either I don't think because it's just Pilates on my calendar so I think we're just hanging and I get to have like a whole makeup free weekend which I love to like just like give my skin a break I keep finding glitter remnants from I think it was it's Saturday today was it Thursday night that I had a shit ton of glitter on I don't know anyway there's like glitter remnants of like chunky glitter still left over on my skin and I'm like oh my god okay this is uh it's too much Ooh. Ooh, this is what it looks like. It's just very like clay pinky. Oh, this one smells so good. I also think that I am going to take a bath while this does its magic because that sounds really nice and really relaxing because of the lighting in here and also like I'm wearing a pink bathrobe and my skin is just like a little pink right now. I feel like you can't even see it. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm very much like a bath to shower type of person where like I'll enjoy my bath, I'll hang, especially like I'll stay in as long as I possibly can. Love a bath. But then I feel like to like properly cleanse. Also, I'm really gonna try and get some of this glitter off my eyelid again. I am a bath to shower pipeline type of person. Hello from the tub. <laughs> This is on my iPhone. I'm so stupid. My vlog camera is literally just like on the counter from where I left it and I forgot to bring it over here. But you know what? This is probably better. That's a wide angle lens and I feel like the chance of having, even though there, there are bubbles, there are bubbles that, that I just feel as if the risk that we would be taking is not worth the payoff. So anyways, I wanted to show you the mask while it's a little weird and gross. I know some people really love this part and so I didn't wanna deny the people who enjoy the weird post dry face mask texture shot that you deserve. My face is so itchy, oh my God. <gasps> absolutely disgusting. It's been about 20 minutes. I'm probably gonna hop in the shower now and rinse this off. My face is like itchy. It is itchy. Hello, welcome to the kitchen. It is dinner time. The pups just ate and I'm gonna do turkey lettuce cups. Essentially, Jeremy also said that he's interested in having one, but I just feel as if this man has eaten probably less than five salads in his entire life. But anyways, these are so good and so easy. Cooking ground turkey breast is literally the fastest thing ever. I explained this drama a couple vlogs ago, but I currently don't have a fridge. I've got like a shitty beer fridge happening in the garage right now, but I lost everything. So I had to rebuy all of my sauces and condiments, which is so annoying and wasteful 
full and literally it kills my soul. So anyways, I have brand new soy sauce, brand new rice wine vinegar, brand new hoisin sauce, and then I also grabbed some green onions. I got some garlic powder, garlic salt, and some lean ground turkey breast. I'm gonna double everything in the recipe, I think, so that I have enough for both Jeremy and I, and then also myself again tomorrow, maybe once or twice. I have the gift of being able to eat the same thing, like seven days in a row, 20 days in a row, 30 days in a row if I really like it. I'm gonna just cook all of this and continue to eat it until our meal prep service arrives. Um, usually comes like late, late Sunday night. So anyways, I'm gonna toss the ground turkey into the pan, which is already heating up, and then chop up these green onions. find a single, I can't find a whisk. I can't find the usual like plastic flat spatula that I use to break up meat. I can't find anything in this kitchen right now. This is truly how much cooking I typically do. I'm about to use this little cheese slicer. Chop up some of the turkey. Yeah, are they giving like a full time lapse of you cooking? Yeah. Do you, like a disclaimer? Go ahead, give a disclaimer. Also, are you using our, our charcuterie board? Yeah. As a I can't find anything, I can't find a whisk. The way that this looks so incredibly not appetizing. I will never be cooking with Remy. And also, I feel like doubling up on the butter lettuce is 100% the way to go to give it a little more structure, but it tastes better than it looks, okay? It truly does taste better than it looks. <laughs> so not convincing. <laughs> it does, I swear, I swear. The advent calendar appetizer. That was so gentle, Bobby. Your advent calendar appetizer. Wow. Your appetizer, my good sir. Do you want it or not? He goes, not entirely sure about the lettuce. Not entirely sure. Uh, da, da, ba, da, da. Gentle, sit, gentle, gentle, gentle. Good boy. Good boy. Karanji. <laughs> the way that he already knows. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh my goodness, I know. Okay, it's time. Drag this bad boy over. I know. I know. <laughs> the littlest bark. That is so cute. Hi, to go. Yesterday, I kind of ruined day. Oh, oh, but we have this one. Oh my God. Which one did I? I opened this one of day two yesterday. I wonder if I should. Okay, no, we'll open them and then I'll get a knife and then we can cut them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, Moose is stoked. Honestly, I also am so excited that it is Vlogmas, Bubbies. I love the spirit, the energy. Oh, what's that? It's like more passion, more passion, more energy, more energy, more footwork, more footwork, more footwork. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are too much. You are too much. Hi, Digo, my sweet boy. Day two. We opened this one a little bit yesterday, I think, right? Yeah, we did, we did. <laughs> Okay, okay, good boy. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, it's so cute. We've got our little wreath for day two. Adorable. I'll take that out of the package in a second. And then woofers. We've got, where's day two? That's day 21. So close. Eight, three. It's right here. It's right here. Day two! You did so good, Dicko. You did so nice. Another little donut one. These are so cute. Wow, these are absolutely adorable. I cannot believe one of the dogs didn't snatch these out of my hands. Okay, I'm gonna just chop these up into little pieces. So cute. So, <laughs> so cute. We've got freaking Christmas wreaths. <laughs> no. Boy. Gentle. Gentle. That was not gentle. Moose. <laughs> Here you go. Good boy. Good boy. Wow, so crunchy. Good boy. And our last two pieces. Let's get up and close here for the, the ASMR. Think it. There was definitely not enough chewing involved. <laughs> Okay, that was your last bite, Bubbies. 
Happy day two of Lovemies! We will see you tomorrow for day three. These dogs are looking incredibly unsatisfied. Do you wanna lick this? Here you go. That's all I have for you. Oh my God, do you found the crumbs and the knife? Okay, have to go, goodbye!